Imagine a black hole, a region of space-time so dense that nothing, not even light, can escape its gravitational pull. Now, picture the opposite, a cosmic entity where nothing can enter, but matter and energy erupt outwards, spewing forth into the universe. This, my friends, is the captivating concept of a white hole. Unlike their infinitely hungry counterparts, white holes are theoretical objects in space-time that act like cosmic fountains. They are regions where matter is ejected, bursting forth from a singularity, a point of infinite density and zero volume. While black holes draw everything towards them, white holes relentlessly push everything away. Their existence is predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity, the same theory that gave us black holes. Just as a black hole's event horizon marks the point of no return, a white hole's event horizon acts as a barrier that nothing can cross from the outside. While black holes are regions of intense gravitational collapse, white holes can be thought of as their explosive counterparts. They challenge our understanding of the cosmos, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the universe's most extreme and mysterious phenomena. Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, published in 1915, revolutionized our understanding of gravity. This groundbreaking work fundamentally changed the way we perceive the universe, offering a new lens through which to view the cosmos. Before Einstein, gravity was understood primarily through Newton's laws, which described it as a force between two masses. However, Einstein's theory introduced a radical new concept. It describes gravity not as a force but as a curvature in the fabric of space-time caused by the presence of mass and energy. Imagine space-time as a flexible four-dimensional fabric. When a massive object like a star or a planet is placed on this fabric, it causes a dent or a curve. This curvature is what we perceive as gravity. The more massive the object, the deeper the curve, and the stronger the gravitational pull. This groundbreaking theory predicted the existence of black holes, regions where gravity is so strong that it warps space-time, creating a bottomless pit in the cosmic fabric. Black holes are formed when massive stars collapse under their own gravity, compressing their mass into an incredibly small and dense point known as a singularity. The gravitational pull of a black hole is so intense that not even light can escape from it, making it invisible to direct observation. Interestingly, the same equations that predicted black holes also hinted at the existence of their bizarre counterparts, white holes. While black holes pull everything in, white holes are theorized to do the exact opposite. They would expel matter and energy, creating a region of space where nothing can enter. This concept is as fascinating as it is perplexing, challenging our understanding of how the universe operates. These mathematical constructs emerged as theoretical solutions to Einstein's equations, describing regions of space-time where gravity, instead of pulling everything in, pushes everything away. The idea of white holes is deeply rooted in the mathematics of general relativity, but translating these equations into physical reality is a significant challenge. The equations suggest that white holes could exist, but finding evidence for them is another matter entirely. In essence, white holes can be thought of as time reversals of black holes. If black holes represent the ultimate gravitational collapse, white holes represent the ultimate gravitational expulsion. This time reversal concept is intriguing because it suggests a symmetry in the universe where every action has an equal and opposite reaction. However, this symmetry is purely theoretical at this point. If you were to film a black hole forming and then play the film in reverse, you would see a white hole. This analogy helps to visualize the concept, but it also highlights the speculative nature of white holes. While black holes have been observed and studied extensively, white holes remain a theoretical construct, a fascinating possibility that has yet to be confirmed by empirical evidence. While a black hole's singularity is a point of ultimate collapse, a white hole's singularity is a point of ultimate expulsion. This difference in behavior is what sets them apart. In a black hole matter is crushed to an infinitely small point, whereas in a white hole matter is expelled from a similarly small point. This expulsion would theoretically create a region of space where nothing can enter, a stark contrast to the inescapable pull of a black hole. However, while we have observational evidence for black holes, white holes remain purely theoretical entities. Black holes have been detected through their interactions with surrounding matter and their gravitational effects on nearby objects. In contrast, no such evidence exists for white holes. They remain a mathematical curiosity, a potential feature of the universe that has yet to be observed. Their existence, although mathematically possible within the framework of general relativity, 
raises numerous questions and challenges our current understanding of the universe. If white holes do exist, they could provide new insights into the nature of space-time and the fundamental forces that govern the cosmos. They could also help to explain some of the most profound mysteries of the universe, such as the nature of dark matter and dark energy. For now, white holes remain an intriguing possibility, a testament to the power of theoretical physics to expand our horizons and challenge our perceptions of reality. The Big Bang Theory, the prevailing model for the origin of the universe, describes how our universe began from an extremely hot, dense state about 13.8 billion years ago. This theory has been supported by a wealth of observational evidence, including the cosmic microwave background radiation, the abundance of light elements, and the large-scale structure of the universe. These observations collectively paint a picture of a universe that has been expanding and cooling over billions of years. This initial state, often referred to as a singularity, expanded and cooled over time, giving rise to the galaxies, stars and planets we observe today. The process of cosmic evolution has been a complex and fascinating journey, involving the formation of the first atoms, the birth of stars and galaxies, and the ongoing creation of new celestial bodies. Each stage of this evolution has left its mark on the universe, shaping the cosmos into the intricate and dynamic system we see now. Intriguingly, the Big Bang singularity shares some characteristics with the theoretical description of a white hole. White holes are hypothetical regions of space-time which are the exact opposite of black holes. While black holes are regions where nothing can escape, white holes are regions where nothing can enter. This concept, though purely theoretical, provides an interesting parallel to the Big Bang. Both are described as points of immense density and energy where the known laws of physics break down. In these extreme conditions, the conventional understanding of space and time ceases to apply, and new exotic physics may come into play. This breakdown of known laws presents a significant challenge to scientists, as it requires a new framework to describe these phenomena accurately. Just as a white hole is thought to expel matter and energy outwards, the Big Bang involved a colossal outward expansion of space and time itself. This expansion was not just a movement of matter through space, but an expansion of space itself, carrying galaxies along with it. The energy released during this event was immense, setting the stage for the formation of all the structures we see in the universe today. This similarity has led some physicists to speculate that the Big Bang itself might have been a white hole event. This idea, while speculative, opens up new avenues for understanding the origins of our universe. It suggests that the universe we inhabit could be the result of a white hole in a higher dimensional space, expelling matter and energy into our three-dimensional universe. In this scenario, our universe would have emerged from a white hole singularity, with all matter and energy being ejected outwards to form the cosmos we know today. This perspective provides a fascinating twist on the traditional Big Bang theory, suggesting that our universe's birth was not a unique event, but part of a larger cosmic cycle. While this idea is highly speculative, it offers a captivating perspective on the origin of our universe. It challenges us to think beyond the conventional boundaries of space and time, and to consider the possibility that our universe is part of a much larger and more complex cosmic structure. This perspective encourages ongoing exploration and debate among physicists and cosmologists, driving the quest for a deeper understanding of the universe. It suggests that the Big Bang, rather than being the beginning of time, might have been a transition from a previous phase of the universe, potentially connected to a black hole in another universe. This idea implies that our universe could be one of many, each emerging from the remnants of a previous cosmic cycle. Such a concept not only expands our understanding of the universe's origins, but also hints at the possibility of a multiverse, where countless universes exist, each with its own unique properties and histories. The enigmatic nature of black holes has fascinated scientists and enthusiasts alike for decades, these cosmic giants with their immense gravitational pull can warp space-time and trap everything including light within their event horizons. The study of black holes has led to groundbreaking discoveries in the field of astrophysics and has deepened our understanding of the universe. On the other hand, white holes which are theoretical opposites of black holes have equally intriguing properties. While black holes pull matter in, 
white holes are thought to expel matter and energy, making them a fascinating subject of study. The potential connection between black holes and white holes through hypothetical entities known as wormholes opens up a realm of possibilities. Imagine a tunnel-like shortcut through space-time, connecting two distant points in the universe, allowing for instantaneous travel across vast cosmic distances. That's the basic idea behind a wormhole. While still theoretical, wormholes are permissible solutions to Einstein's equations of general relativity. These equations which describe the fundamental interaction of gravitation as a result of space-time being curved by matter and energy, allow for the existence of such exotic structures. The concept of wormholes has been a staple in science fiction, often depicted as gateways for faster-than-light travel or portals to other dimensions. The concept of a wormhole becomes even more fascinating when we consider its potential relationship with black holes and white holes. If such connections exist, they could revolutionize our understanding of the universe and the nature of space-time itself. Some theories propose that a black hole and a white hole could be connected at their singularities by a wormhole, creating a bridge through space-time. This bridge could theoretically allow for the transfer of matter and energy between different regions of the universe. Some theories propose that a black hole and a white hole could be connected at their singularities by a wormhole, creating a bridge through space-time. This idea suggests that the singularity at the center of a black hole, where matter is thought to be infinitely dense, could be linked to a white hole singularity, where matter is expelled. This connection could potentially allow for the transfer of matter and energy across vast distances, or even between different universes. In this scenario, matter and energy falling into a black hole wouldn't be lost forever, Instead of being trapped in an inescapable abyss, they could be channeled through the wormhole and ejected out of the white hole on the other side. This process could occur in a different part of the universe or even in a completely different universe altogether, offering a potential explanation for the fate of matter that falls into a black hole. Instead, it could be channeled through the wormhole and ejected out of the white hole on the other side, potentially in a different part of the universe or even a different universe altogether. This concept, while highly speculative, provides a tantalizing glimpse into the possibilities of interuniversal travel and the interconnectedness of different regions of space-time. It challenges our current understanding of the universe and opens up new avenues for scientific exploration and discovery. This idea, while highly speculative, captures the imagination and fuels our curiosity about the nature of space-time, the possibility of parallel universes, and the ultimate fate of matter that falls into a black hole. The notion of parallel universes where different versions of reality coexist has been a topic of fascination for both scientists and science fiction writers. If wormholes do exist and can connect different universes, it could provide a means of exploring these alternate realities and understanding the true nature of our own universe. However, it's crucial to remember that the existence of wormholes, let alone their connection to black holes and white holes, remains purely theoretical. Despite the lack of empirical evidence, the study of these concepts continues to push the boundaries of our knowledge and inspire new theories and experiments. As our understanding of the universe evolves, so too does our ability to explore these fascinating phenomena, bringing us closer to uncovering the mysteries of space-time and the cosmos.